so far you have seen how to set up playwright api testing and also you have seen how to create the first api request in playwright in this playwright api testing tutorial we are going to see how to create post api request using static json file so in the sense if i go to the postman so we will be creating a simple json file and we will keep this request body in the json file and by using that json file how we can create the api request in playwright so let's navigate to the vs code and we will create a simple json file so we will keep this request body in that json file then we will see how to create the automation test by using that json file so here i'm creating one folder called test hyphen data and inside the test hyphen data folder i'm creating a one json file so here i'll say post request body dot json that's it so simply i will go to the postman tool and i will copy the api request body and i'll paste it inside the post request body dot json file so that's it guys so now i will close the json file now let's create a quickly one spec file so simply i will copy the post api request 01 spec file and i'll paste it inside the tests folder and here i will rename the file name as post api request 02 dot spec dot js so that's it guys so firstly i will update the test name as create post api request using static json file so that's it guys now so previously we were passing the api request body directly in the automation code but this time we are going to read the api request body from the json file and we are going to pass it here in this data section so that's it guys so what i will do is now so we have to read this particular json file and we have to pass on to the data object right so reading this json file is very easy guys so what you can do is simply we can use the require inside the required simply we have to pass the path of the json file so here i'll say test data slash we have the post request underscore body dot json file and once we get this particular location the data so we have to assign back to the one constant variable so here i'll say booking details here i'll say instead of booking details here i'll say booking api request body that's it guys so by using this statement so we are able to read the this particular json file which contains the api request body now by using this variable booking api request body so i can get the all the data which is there inside this particular json file right so simply i will use this particular variable inside the our post method so simply i will pass the that particular object here that's it guys so it is very simple so let me summarize what i have done so far so firstly we have created a test hyphen data folder and inside that we have created one json file and we have added the api request body inside the json file and then here we have created a simple sorry guys let me rename this particular spec file so it should be dot spec dot js file so here we have created a one spec, spec file called post api request 02.spec.js file and here so firstly we are reading the json file which contains the api request body and once we read that particular data file so we are storing that into the variable simply i'm passing that variable into the our post api request that's it guys so let me summarize what exactly this test is doing here also so firstly we are creating the post api request and then we here we are validating the status code and so after validating the status code so by using the api response so simply we are getting the json api response body 
So by using this JSON API response body, so we are validating the first name, last name, and also we are validating the check-in and check-out date from the this particular API response guys. So we are validating first name, last name, and we are validating the check-in date and check-out date. So that's it guys. Now let's run the test and our test should work fine. And if you see here guys, so we are able to create the booking and here we got the booking ID and also here we can see that our test is getting passed.